am a Pamba Comfort from Cameroon. The founder of Clicks Cameroon, a Yali Fellow 2016 at University of Delaware. It gives me a great honor to talk about something I'm so passionate about, which is menstruation. And my passion is derived from my life experience to get education. So, education is an opportunity to break poverty. It's an opportunity to raise healthier communities. And it's an opportunity to build sustainable communities. Then why should some issues like menstruation be ignored? Why should this issue be neglected? Over 800 women menstruate every day. But the world is silent about it. People don't talk about it, they don't care about it. So that's, why, that's what brought me to my topic today. From shame to empowerment, menstruation and gender equality. Menstruation matters to education. It matters to quality health. It matters to build strong institutions and sustainable communities in the world. So, do you think tackling the stigma around menstruation is the key to gender equality? Menstruation is still a barrier to achieve gender equality in developing countries because why? Girls miss school four days to five days every month due to menstruation. They don't have access to menstrual sanitary pads. They don't have information about their menstrual cycle on the changes that they undergo in their bodies. I call this inequality because their rights are being denied. Their human rights are being denied. It is inequality. So this stigma attached to menstruation does not only link to the fact that women menstruate. It's because men consider it as it's not their business. Because men, does men, men don't menstruate. If men could menstruate, what then should happen? So I take you back to my story, my mom, my legacy. From the struggle my mom took through in life to get me an education. And it's because of education I'm standing here today. It's because of education I succeeded in breaking inequality in my life and in my community. She was the first woman in our community to send a girl child to school. She saw a girl child as a blessing. We have to see menstruation as a blessing. We were all born as a result of menstruation. Why should there be inequality? There is rights of feminism, the rights of movement to human rights, to voting rights. But there is no right to, to menstruation. Parliamentarians are not talking about it because they realize menstruation is a non-issue. Menstruation is an issue. So we have to stand up. The boys have to support us. We have to involve. And we fight against this inequality. Because of lack of access to menstrual sanitary products, the inequality in menstruation. Some girls resorted using wax. They use menstrual stuffing and toilet tissue, which is so horrible to their health. It is so unhygienic. What is the future that we are looking for? We say women being for generation that can save the world and transform the world. But the permanent issue of that biological process that brings forth children and life to the world, who will transform this world and become leaders of tomorrow, it's been ignored because of some cultural practices, some taboos, and some other myths surrounding these issues. So that is why. We have to come in through this to help add our voices, to fight for equality. A girl like Rose, she was dropped out of school because she lacked sanitary pad. She was forced to date men, other men, in order to get money to buy the sanitary pad. Look at what the society and landed her to. She was forced to get four children at the age of 25. Because after getting pregnant, she was sent out of the home by the parents to get in order to marry the man. She was forced to marry the man who got her pregnant. And look at the result. She has four children. She is vulnerable. Nobody cares about her. But these girls, the girls here, are the people who will become doctors to save the world. These girls like her, they are who I am today. I face the same situation like them. I put myself, my position in them. I know their story. I've experienced their story. So in order to help this situation, we need to come together as a team. We can't do this alone. It's not only a problem in Africa, it's a world problem. So through this, we had to bring this forward to organize cultural events, pregnancy prevention programs, and to teach young girls and women on how to make their own reusable pad. With these girls who have access to sanitary pads, they will stay in school, women will go to work during their menses, 
they will become healthy, they will become safe, and they will become empowerment. And with this, through this, we can tackle equality through menstruation. What if women and girls have access to PAT? No matter where they are, even in the prison, even in the orphanages, even in disability centers, they have right to menstrual hygiene and menstrual sanitation. So, if we can have all of these, girls will, will, have, will know their sexual reproductive health, and equality will be fully achieved in low-income communities. Thank you.